Deftones, Mine, featuring Surge from System of a Down. I'm going to play all the different sections right at the start here. Afterwards, I'll go back through, give the whole explanation for it. Please hit that subscription button. It's the best way of letting me know that you like this video and want to see more just like it. And now let's get on into the lesson. So for the tuning, we can basically get everything we need with this song in just a standard tuning. E, A, D, G, B, E. And lots of fun chord shapes here with uh, interesting strumming. Uh, pretty much just straight up eighth note strumming throughout the whole thing, just back and forth. Um, this intro section, just two chords. Uh, first chord we hang on for a couple measures. It's a D major 7. And we get that here at the 5A, 4D, 6G. And the strum on this, we're just going back and forth, just continuously. And that's a lot of the strumming for most of the song. So a couple measures there, and then we shift down or over to a B flat. So uh, basically what we'll do is we'll just come up a set, hit the six on the E, do the five on the A. Uh, middle D, you can keep quiet or let it ring. It's up to you. I just like to keep it quiet really. And then just add the seven on the G. So, and that's just part of a big B flat chord. For the verse, we're kind of scaling down these seven shapes. We'll come up to a F major seven, which is more or less just that D major seven shape we had. Just bump it up to the eighth fret on the A, seven on the D, nine on the G. Okay, same type of strum. Then we kick it down to the C major 7, so the same shape, just move it on down to where we got the 3A, 2D, 4 on the G. And the third chord, the final chord, is just part of a G flat, where we'll shift up to the strings here. We'll go 2 on the E, 1 on the A. Uh, you can kind of mute that middle D, and then 3 on the G. All right, and you want to do that one for two measures at the end, and then we can just loop that through the verse. Chorus, we switch more to power chord shapes here, and we'll start up here at seven on the low E with the nine on the A for B power chord. Strum that out about five times real quick, and then just kick it down one fret to the B flat at the six and eight for just one quick hit. Can we just kind of hold it for a moment there, and then we jump up to the F power chord, eight, on the A, 10 on the D, and we just finish, uh, you know, the next couple of measures with that. All right, then we start it again with our sevens, the B flat, or the B, sorry, to the B flat. Go, go back to that F at the eight and 10, but with this time, the second time through, we just kind of hit it 
for a beat or so, and then we kick it down to the D at the 5A7 on the D. And we just finish out with that D. All right, the bridge section where Serge starts coming in with the vocal. Uh, we're just kind of doing these voicings of, you know, more or less just major chords. Um, just kind of interesting voicings of them. We start with the A, uh, and this looks a lot kind of like that initial B flat in the intro or the G flat in the verse, you know, where we have this shape, you know, the A bass note at the five of the E, then we do the four on the A, can skip the D string, and then we do six on the G. So it's basically we just have a bass note with an, you know, an octave uh, part of the chord there and hang out there for a measure. All right, then we jump it up to a C sharp here at the 9 E, 8 A, 10 on the G. Okay, just one measure each for these. And then we finish at the uh, E. So we got the 12 on the low E, 11 on the A, and 13 on the G. And this, this one, we want two measures worth. All right, and then uh, the second time through, we jump back to our A at that five. But here, we just kind of flip the last two chords, where instead of going to C sharp, we come up to the E at the 12. All right, and then we finish on the C sharp at the nine. So just a little flip-flop those last two chords, but then we just repeat that for the bridge. And at the outro, more surge going on here. Um, just kind of more of a dynamic power chord to octave thing here. Uh, we just come over to the B power chord here at the 7 on the E, 9 on the A. You can even add the 9 on the D, make it sound real big since it's the outro. And it's just kind of a 1, 2, 3 strum. All right, then we s jump down here, and uh, we're going to do kind of a voicing of an A major 7 here. And basically you can hit the open... A string and then hit this octave under it, the six for the uh, G sharp there on the D, okay, six fret there, and then just uh, get the octave for it at the nine on the B. And that's a one, two, three strum as well, but closer together. 